Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode, <laughs> I think. Um, I've had some software issues in the past couple weeks. Basically, I think I, I messed with some settings on OBS, and uh, it broke everything. <laughs> so, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. It, uh, and basically, it would have the video files, and I could like open them and watch them. But every video setting or video recording software that I've tried to put those into has pretty much not let me, right? And that's just been unfortunate. But that's okay. Um, we'll move on, I guess. Uh, basically, though, to give you an idea, I've done a whole lot because I had pre-recorded a little bit. Just unfortunate, but like I said, it's what it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make some buckets here. I'll catch you all up. I don't know if this video will actually <laughs> actually work. I'm still, like I said, pretty much working out the kinks still. So hopefully this video goes up on YouTube. But if not, um, darn. <laughs> I'll still I'll work through it though. I'm not gonna do anything progress wise though because I would like to uh, ideally. <laughs> Uh, have some content that isn't gonna kill me if it doesn't doesn't work because I've done a lot <laughs> and one of those things is just been a whole lot of caving you you saw it was in the furnaces we got another 35 there and then we've got an insane amount of iron here too I think we can almost build a beacon to be honest let's see what's my playtime on this world um, let's see Talk to 22. Oh, yeah, they're over. They, yeah. Um, where is playtime? It's on here somewhere, right? I'll just look for hours since last death. Well, it's at least 2.19 hours since last rest. Notice that the uh, last death and last rest were the exact same. I'll explain that in a second. Time played 7.71 .71 hours. So, yeah, I've got a decent amount of time. Also, done quite a bit. Uh, we got enough diamonds, we got an enchanting table, we just need to get books, which is doable. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you probably see that, and you're like, what is that? Well, I built the zombie grinder. I don't know if I showed that in a video or not. <laughs> uh, actually, it's quite important that I check that. Let me pull that up on my phone. What was the last video? Did Was it just episode one? Yes, it was, All right. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> I built this. Which, <laughs> it's funny. Um, it's, uh, you, you don't have to build your mob farms, this, this room this big. <laughs> but that's okay. Ooh, a lot of them spawned, didn't they? But, I mean, it still works. It's just, you only have to do three. <laughs> so that block, that block, and the block below it. But that's alright. Um, basically, they go down there, a water stream picks them up and lifts them up up to a certain amount of blocks, and they fall down. And then you'll see this pressure plate here, and you're probably like, what the heck is that? Um, since there's mob stacking now that kills them, uh, this pressure plate detects when there's like 22 mobs or so. And we can just hop behind here. And when it does that, it sends out a signal. And this signal goes up top using... Uh, redstone torch stacking and it goes up there and it shuts off the flow of the zombies down to like so they don't just fall and die and whenever it gets to that max amount it plays a little tune in this uh, hopper clock to see these uh, to those note blocks it's not an actual tune it's just like a ding 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 or ding 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 kind of thing you know what I mean <laughs> right <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we've got accomplished here. I've also let's uh let's go ahead and stack these up real nice. There we go. Yoink. I'll put that there, there. Oh I guess I can make another one. But we'll go up top. Uh I had to redo the staircase too. This goes down and comes into a mine shaft. I don't have enchanting either, so I'm at level 36, which is kind of impressive, I think. I put the nether portal there too, 
didn't actually go through the nether very far, just put the portal there. But I tried, <laughs> I tried, keyword tried, I tried to build a starter house, and it, it went so poorly. <laughs> I've never struggled to build something more in my life, and it pains me to look at it right now. Uh, it's 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 bad, okay? It's very bad, and I burnt down some of it because of how bad it is. So I've got different ideas for a starter house, but it's definitely not going to be this. We're we're gonna tear this down and just use the resources from it for something else. But ugh, that's that was just terrible. I guess I also didn't show this on camera, but I've got a horse. There's two horses actually. Um, where did they go? Right, three horses. Um. This one's really fast. Actually, both of them are really fast. So this horse is really fast, but he can only jump like two blocks, three blocks, you know? So not that great. This one here is also really fast. He can't jump. He can jump a little higher, but I think he just might be a tad slower than the other horse. And his health's slower, right? But they're really two really, really fast horses. Like, super fast. And then this last guy, we'll show him. He can jump. He is one heck of a jumper. Like, that much. <laughs> Let's see, what is that? One, two, three, four and a half blocks, at least. Probably go a little higher than that. Whoops. I was going to say, dude, you just jumped that for me. What's, what's the problem? <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much all that I've done. I failed at building a starter house. I built a zombie XP grinder. I died once, right. Okay, I'll explain that now. <laughs> so down in this XP grinding room, I had a bed. I'll show you where I had it put. I had it put right here. I had it laid up right here. I slept in it, and when I respawned, it respawned me in that lava pool. <laughs> Literally just, I woke up out of the bed and I was swimming in lava, and that's how I died. It's, it's a really terribly unfortunate death, I will say. Because I had a lot of stuff. <laughs> but it, it is what it is, I guess, you know. I didn't lose anything too important. I don't think I had diamonds on me or anything. And I've definitely got enough iron back now after all that. As you can see. What is it for a ble beacon? Two and a half stacks of blocks? We're not going to have that, but we do have a stack for sure, yeah. So we're getting there. <laughs> we're working our way up. There's a traveling trader that came along too, but I don't know where he went. I guess he's disappeared for now. Uh, And I think you have to stand. Did I mark it? Where, did, where, where do you have to stand for this spawner? Oh, OptiFine's on, by the way. And let me know, do you all, would you all prefer shaders? Yeah, I put this light here so that you can tell. Do you all prefer shaders on or off? Because um, I have shaders, and I can uh, I can throw it on real quick just to give you all an idea. Shaders. Uh, if I did it, I would use light. No reason to do any more than that. I, don't, I know it can be annoying, so if some of you didn't want shaders, I would do that. Oh my, maybe we shouldn't. I'm getting terrible frames. Maybe I just need to let it roll in. But I don't know what you all think about using shaders. If you, leave, leave it in the comments below if you do want to use shaders. Want me to use shaders and I will. Or I'll at least think about it. I'll do some more testing because, man, the frames are terrible when I'm recording and have shaders. I would get If I'm not recording, I would get like 140 easily. I would be able to play with 144 hertz, right? But I, I don't know, just with that, it is, it's not great. Not great. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts on that. Uh, and like I said, we got a decent little XP farm now. Nothing too amazing, but you, uh, you can go AFK and come back every now and then. You watch a video, it dings at you, and then you can kill them. That's pretty much got y'all caught up, though. I apologize for the lack of videos. I've... I know it sucks, but I'll try and uh, get back on the video grind here soon. Oh, it's interesting. I guess because it 
goes faster, that it uses up more fuel, which would make sense. Actually, it doesn't, because shouldn't that lava be cooking just as long as anything else? I don't know, I guess it's a nerf, it just doesn't make much sense. Does this game have to make sense, though? No, that's the correct answer. <laughs> Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this recording. I'm going to go into my uh, video editing software, and I'm going to see if the adjustments I've made have made a difference <laughs> in regards to it actually working. And if it has, then we'll, uh, we'll go and do something else, start the uh, episode and actually make it an episode. <laughs> and if not, I guess uh, I'll try this whole clip again. <laughs> So, uh, be right back, maybe? Uh-huh, so judging by the video editing that I did, it seems to be working, question mark? I'm not entirely sure. It seemed, <laughs> it seemed broken, but not broken, so I'm just gonna try it out for the rest of this video, and then I'll do some extreme testing. I just wanted to get a quick video update video out. But I think we are gonna do it just a little bit this episode, because I, I really need to get stuff done. So I think what I need in this world is I'm out of food. <laughs> so that's probably going to be our next uh, next little adventure here is getting food. I don't exactly know where I want to... Oh, right. Uh, so, for the base project, I discussed wanting to do a base. Mm -hmm. We know I'm doing this castle. This castle is going to be gigantic. It's going to be the biggest thing I've ever built in this game. I don't want to do that on the first episode with iron tools. I hope you can understand that. <laughs> so, <laughs> what we're going to do is build a smaller base so that I have a base of operations when building this larger epic base. Makes sense? I hope so. <laughs> Where do we want that smaller base? Well, is there a spider die? <laughs> it's odd. Um, mm, nighttime, let's sleep and then we'll talk about it. Let's see if this bed kills me. <laughs> There we go. I don't know what this out of memory thing was either, but that was sure was interesting that that popped up. Alright, daytime, now we can talk about it. We've got 37 levels and I really don't want to lose that. So, I think we're just going to turn this ravine here into a little little starter base. Just a little one, you know? And I think that's the, I think that's the play here. So, that, that begs the question, what's the best way to do this? And where do we want to put a wheat farm? Ah. <laughs> Stupid skeleton. Right. Oh, and I did go to the nether, actually, because I needed soul sand for that. For that project right there, but that's besides the point. I think if we're having our nether portal here, that seems like our main base of operations, doesn't it? What are these guys all around right for that? How many zombies are in this? Oh, that's where they drop at. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> okay. It's our main base right here. And the stairs comes down here. I think you would want your wheat farm towards this side. I think. So we're going to do that. I'll probably put a glass ceiling at the top of this. I've done that exact base design before. Where did you come from? Oh, don't do it. Okay, just do it anyways. That's cool. <laughs> But, yeah, I think we want a wheat farm somewhere on this end of things, which means I have to dig the whole thing out. <laughs> which is fine. Which, this will be a carrot and potato farm, too. It's just... We want... We want wheat. Because we need cows for enchanting, and I need food. So, yeah. You, you get the point. You, can, you know what I'm doing. So, hmm. Where do I start this? Ah, uh, probably right here. Okay, I'm going to cut out and I'll come back once I've picked a starting point for this and dug out a little area. Okay, I have dug out a room here. And let me explain what we're going to do. Basically, we've got seven blocks of dirt in length here. And we've got eight here. So we'll have pistons right here and water behind that. We'll have a timer. The pistons will drop down for a certain amount of time. Water will run out and wash all of the grown items into this stream. And this stream will drop it right into this hopper, as you can see. And it'll just yoink, like so. And we'll have a chest underneath. Uh, let's go ahead and set up all that, though. So, we'll have a button here. 
and then this will go into the back here. Uh, I should probably break a hole back here so I can say, hey, this is where this needs to go. Need to make sure we're behind that water stream too. We don't want to wash away our redstone. And we're going to do this for both sides. Um, hmm. Let me think about this. So, I think the best way to do this would be having an etho hopper clock, right? So that the pistons are on for a certain amount of time. But the question is, where do we put that hopper clock, right? Because, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we got a very thin wall back there. I don't want to have to do two hopper clocks either. That would be tough. Be hitting on the resources, you know, because we have such a limited amount. But no, we really don't want to have an excess amount of redstone in the world. Uh, we got to invert the power to these, by the way, too, so that they're not, so that they're constantly on until we hit that button. And then our water will be right in here. It's not not too complicated of a uh, wheat farm, so <laughs> don't get your hopes up if you're expecting some large technical technical build here, right? Okay. So like I said, our water will be right in here. And I'm going to have to figure out this hopper clock. And then we'll we'll go from there. All right. So we will have, uh, I guess we can go ahead and we should lay out the redstone wiring to this, to these hoppers too. Because we can't have the water up there and then our redstone again get washed out. It's the only hard part of this build is you have to be very careful with your redstone or you will wash it all away and that's just not good. We don't need a bone. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's right. And I guess we're going to need quite a few repeaters here, aren't we? Thought I was more prepared for this. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm. Can't break that block. Let's, let's see, we're going to have to run a circuit here anyways. Might as well break that. Let's see if I can get a little more organized here. Oh, we don't want to break that block either. Um... We need repeaters. We're going to need at least uh, eight, which was going to require 16, 16 of those. So we'll do that. Okay. And that should be enough for powering our, uh, or turning off our pistons, so to speak. Then you just do a pattern like so, and hook all of these up. And if I were to put a block down right here, power that, and they will all be up. That's good. Okay. And we'll do the same to this other side, just as we've done. I'm using, uh, oh, I'm out. All right, that's unfortunate. I was using mushroom stew, but all that is now gone, apparently. <laughs> All right, just gotta dig this out just the same. Let's see what's this first one here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and repeaters. Like that. And now those are hooked up. Okay, the hopper clock, right? This has to be done. Mm, probably need to go underground for this, don't we? Yeah, we'll run a circuit underground. It's just darn it that breaks out there. Oh man, need another pick too. So we'll run this hopper clock. Whoops. And I'm going to need to get some more materials for that. That's fine. 
Uh, oh man, my inventory is so full. Let's go get a little more organized with our inventory here, and then we'll do that. Uh, yeah, so we'll use a Etho Hopper clock, and we'll time it for like just enough time so that everything gets washed down, right? Let's see, we have raw rabbit. <laughs> Food is really, really rough right now, let me tell you. I guess we're going to have to cook us a raw rabbit. Or we can munch on some rotten flesh for a while, that doesn't bother me. Heck, 11 apples, that's not bad. We can always get more apples. <laughs> okay, could probably clear up my inventory more than that. I'm not putting that away, that away. We don't need string, I thought I was doing something different. <laughs> Uh, do I have brown mushrooms? No. If I had those, that could have been a legitimate food source, but that's alright. Uh, we'll just put this in a furnace. Oh, put it in the blast furnace. Okay. Hopper clock. Let's see, we're going to need two hoppers. We got the material for that. We need a sticky piston. And a regular piston. I don't think we have any slime balls on us right now, though, do we? It's alright, we can kill a slime at night. Uh, we need comparators. We don't have any quartz, do we? Uh, oh, I'll take that. Oh, we do have quartz. Good. We need two comparators, and that's pretty much it. So let's put, let's make these comparators real quick. I guess it's a lot of, uh, it's gonna be a lot of redstone torches. Just two. Like that. And like I said, we'll have to kill a slime at night time, but there's a swamp nearby, so that shouldn't be too difficult to accomplish. And I think we're good. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> let's see. Oh, it's night time right now. Let's see if there's any slimes out. Come on, slimes. Show yourselves. Has to be on a full moon, doesn't it? Looks like it's going to be... Oh, no, there's a slime. Come here, buddy. I need your balls. In a completely non-homosexual way, of course. Let's just say non-sexual in its entirety. How about that? Go away, spider. Oh no, I killed that one. <laughs> and while we're here, we might as well kill this one. So I'm going to need slime balls eventually anyway. I thought you couldn't swim. Oh well. Alright, ten slime balls. That should cover us. For sure, for sure. There's that ugly house. <laughs> Shining up real bright during the night time. Oh man. Is there water here? I need water. I want to jump. I want to jump. Let's go this way and do it. Okay. We're down here. Good to go. Let's go ahead and craft our materials too. I meant to be able to do this a lot faster, but I have obviously failed you in that regard. <laughs> I thought I was better than this. Oh no, I don't only I don't have enough redstone. What? Oh, that was lag. What was that? Game? <laughs> Hello? Very unresponsive there. Oh, I just did that wrong. That that makes sense. Okay. Ta da like that. Mmm. Inventory's already full again. Here, we can, we can stack these buckets for now. Okay. So, we'll have a redstone circuit going down. Right. It's going to go down even more, apparently. And we'll have a hopper clock right here. right in here and the way you do this is well oh, did not mean to break into that I didn't craft the hoppers but that's fine so this this will go into a sticky oh just a regular piston but the pistons gonna be right there and then you have a, a sticky piston right and there'll be two hoppers right here the comparators are right here so once I go get those hoppers, that'll be good. And then there'll be redstone dust. And there will be redstone dust. Aha! 
Then you have a redstone block. And then you will feed a signal into this. So you'll have like a block there. I guess we can just do it this way. Okay. And then I'll make these hoppers and you'll know what I'm talking about. Do that. I'm showing you how to make a hopper timer by basically using pistons real quick. So if you want to know how to do this, <laughs> watch carefully. Okay, say we want to time this for 16. Alright. Maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> How do I do this? Uh, um, is it going to this one? Or are these supposed to be in subtract? Aha. Alright, let's let it run for a second here. Right, so, if you hit the button, <laughs> your pulse would come out of this block. Oh, right, because when this retracts, it's not going to pull it backwards. Got it. So this block right here will detect your power. I think. <laughs> so, we just go back up to where our circuit's supposed to be. Where is it coming out at? Right here. Yeah. So we need to go up this way. And we light away our way up too, of course. Perfect. Actually, we can probably save a bit of redstone here by just <laughs> staying on the same level as this, yeah. Which, this is going to need a repeater out of it. I don't know if this will entirely work. I skipped a couple redstone <laughs> rules here. Oh, no, we need another repeater. And then here in a second, this will turn off. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be re inverted anyways. So that means that to invert this power, we would do so, like, right in here. Oh, that has to go into that block. Which it will. That's just not right at all. There we go. Is that power all the way? Yes, it does. That's good. That's very good. Okay. So, <laughs> in conclusion, uh, we can probably take some out of that. Let's just put it at 10. That's a good number, right? 10, 10 blocks. So, for the time it takes for 10 blocks to go from this hopper back into this hopper, it will be flowing water, I think. You see that? Look, and then here in a second, it'll turn back on. There it goes. Perfect. I know what I'm doing. Haha, I'm a redstone genius. <laughs> okay, so we just need to take this power and have it go to this other side. Now, let me do some thinking here. What? This block here is powered, right? So if we stick a repeater out of it. We're going to need a couple repeaters anyway, so we might as well get some more here. Okay, let's see. Let me craft these repeaters here. Boom. And I think we can stick it. I don't think we can stick it there. I think this will break it, won't it? be nice if it didn't. Yep, that breaks it. 
<laughs> Completely knew it was going to do that, but there we are. <laughs> now, I don't think that will power that block either, will it? I stick with block out of there. I'm just trying to cheat, by the way. I know what I'm doing, but <laughs> for some reason I feel the need to try and cheat one piece of redstone. Ooh, that does work. Does it break it, though? That's the question. No, it doesn't. Cool. Okay. And so, this will just go for however long this needs to go, and then we can... Darn it. Alright, so that's got to be like that. So that block is redstone. That means that block is redstone. That's our floor there, isn't it? Sorry, we can repair it. And then we go over one. Oh no, not my redstone. No, 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 no. Did it get washed out? Yes, it did. Not by much, but... Could have been worse, let me say that. <laughs> okay. our water there okay so this is this is good we keep coming along and then we'll go to those other ones which unfortunately we're gonna have to use quite a few repeaters to get there let's do another check and see how far along we all oh, gosh darn it don't run far enough okay it didn't that's good How much further do we have? Not much, not much. Uh, where's our, okay, our circuit's right here. Perfect. Okay, so this can go 16 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get our redstone. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Peter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's just turn the rest in. Right? All right. So this is going to have plenty of power. That's good. And that powers all the way, which is what we want. And the redstone part of this is now done. Okay. So now we fill in these so our water doesn't run that way. Now the, pro the lighting is definitely going to be an issue here, isn't it? That's all right. For now, we're just going to make sure that our water is running the way that it should without causing me terrible issues in life. So you walk in the door. Well, you will here in a sec. Once there's a door to walk through. Right. You walk in and your button's right here. That's good. And then our water will be blocked off here. It's all temporary. Okay. I don't know if these torches are going to be enough light here in the middle or not. It's pretty close. I don't know. We'll have to see. But you walk in. Oh, need to put the water in. <laughs> that explains a lot. Here, let's hit that button again <laughs> so I can actually put this water in. Oh, no. Okay. Quickly. Is that all of it? I don't know. <laughs> let's try it again. Yes, it is. Oh, no. I've messed up the design. <gasps> I'm an idiot. The water is not coming from here. It's coming from two blocks back. Oh no, what a design flaw. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oof. That's a, that's a big hit, guys. That's, that's a major hit. I'm going to have to finish the rest of this off camera, or I'm going to have to uh, end the episode, though, because it's getting too long. In the next episode, we'll finish this and polish it up. We have the redstone done. We just need to move 
these up two blocks. So these pistons need to be right here. Which is just a terrible design flaw by me, I will say. That that is completely my mistake. <laughs> this episode was a test anyways, so we were expecting bumps along the way. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so sorry, sorry for the interruptions in videos, guys. Sorry I haven't been uploading. I have been starting college too, so my time has been greatly limited, which has hindered video production. Um, I recorded a bunch of Terraria with Purple, but unfortunately, that video's footage is also unusable, apparently. So that's that's just all around terrible. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but there should be videos now. I don't know about the Terraria series. I'll have to discuss with Purple about what I've done <laughs> and how fixable that that is, I guess. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much where it's at. Expect these videos to continue, and that's where we're at for now. Right. Well, that's that's gonna do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Stick with me here on the quality. Hopefully, the quality's better. We'll see. That's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll try to do some more videos and some more live streams. So hang out, keep updated. I'll post whenever I do live streams in my Discord and on my YouTube. You can join my Discord with a link down below. And uh, hopefully the stream's quality will be improved. I'm at the apartment now at college, and it's, uh, it's a whole lot better internet. So we'll see if the quality improves or not. That's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Bye!